And now a live look at our CARE 11 ice torch that will light the way through our Olympic coverage. It starts in prime time on Thursday. And as we count down to the big day, we are introducing you to another Minnesota rock star you may want to keep an eye on in Beijing. He was once the youngest male curler in the history of the Olympics. Now Chris Plies is a bit older and wiser. And Dave Schwartz is here with his story. Hey, Dave. That's right, Julia. Like most of us, he looks back on his younger self and wishes he could have taught himself a thing or two. Instead, he'll use those lessons he's learned over the last decade to try and bring home some golden decorations. Duluth native Chris Plies has waited a long time to make it back to the Olympics. That final rock was coming down to win the trials. Um, I don't know. I was like the first time I've gotten like kind of misty. You'd tear up too if you had to wait 12 years between appearances. Plies was just an alternate at the Olympics in 2010, then spent the next 12 years competing against John Schuster to try and make it back to the games. It's been a long road. Um, you know, a lot of my life has changed. A lot, uh, just myself has changed. Um, How so? Just grew up. That wasn't an easy thing. It's been 12 years since his father, Patrick, passed away from brain cancer. Since then, Chris has taken over his father's business and joined Team Schuster, taking over for Tyler George, who retired after the 2018 games. You know, I think probably from 14 on, I've really seen him grow into a tremendous player, a tremendous teammate. He's such a good shooter. Like, the kid just understands how, like, these rocks are going to run and how he needs to throw it to get the most out of the shot. He also has great camaraderie with Schuster and longtime friend Matt Hamilton, having played with both at other times during his career. And while he acknowledges that he put pressure on himself early to replace Tyler, things have overall gone smoothly. The only thing that's weird is, like, when we get announced as, like, Olympic gold medalists and understanding they're like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> might recognize me from uh, <laughs> not being there in 2018, not but there, yeah. yeah, so, but other than that, it's all, it's all good. Now he's back and he'll be busy competing in both men's and mixed doubles curling. But that's the good thing about waiting 12 years between Olympics appearances. When you make it, you just can't get enough. But look forward to the challenge. Like if you can't get up for, for the Olympics, then, then something's wrong with you. I'm coming after you, boys. And Chris gets started tomorrow night for mixed doubles curling with partner Vicki Persinger. It'll be the first Olympics for either player competing in mixed doubles curling. Ah, there you are. Hey, and Dave. He's sneaking uh, up hello. behind me over there. What are you I doing? Sneak, watch out. I'm going to steal your wallet. I also love they are definitely competing for the best flow yes. with the men's hockey team. Well, and, and, and him and Matt Hamilton also have like a who has the most tattoos contest. Uh -huh. They're both like all over the place. And, so and two of the most easygoing guys you'll ever yeah. meet. Yeah. Oh, that they was crack delightful. me up. Thanks, Dave. Mara.